you know, their attitudes have been good. Their work ethic has been great. And it's a very, just a very close basketball team, uh, which is, um, which is fun for coaches this time of year, you know, because there's so much going on uh, preparing for a season this time of year. And, you know, so many different stresses and so many different concerns and so many, um, you know, so many things going on uh, that we deal with on a daily basis. It's good to have a group of guys that, um, that you can count on as far as being on time, working hard every day, good attitudes. Uh, it, it's, uh, it, it's, it's a very good group. Uh, you know, it, they're fun to be around. Now, with that said, we're, you know, we're making a lot of mistakes in practice right now. It's a bit sloppy. Um, but I do see improvement each and every day. I do see that, which is, um, <clears throat> which is exciting, which is definitely exciting. Um, but uh, we, we have uh, a long way to go. But I think because of the attitude and work ethic, I think we've got a chance to, uh, to get better. Did you see that coming? I mean, did you, could you tell that you were going to have a team that was going to get along like this, say, last year when you knew you had some of the pieces here? Well, we, we did. We worked on it, uh, and we saw it coming. We, you know, we tried to do our part as the coaching staff to try to, you know, correct some of the problems we thought we had last year that, um, that we didn't enjoy. And it wasn't about wins and losses. We did win 20 games last year and uh, did some, some things, win and loss, but there were – you know, I've always said I love the game of basketball so much. It's not always about just winning games. I like having fun. I like getting up at 5.30 in the morning and looking forward to going to, to the office, look forward to creating a practice plan, look forward to getting in the gym with our guys. And, uh, you know, that wasn't always the case last year. You know, we had so many uh, distractions. But uh, I, I've, I can say from day one this group has been fun to work with. Uh, they are a close group because I think they have uh, – they're all good guys. Uh, they all like each other. There's no egos on this basketball team. Uh, and I just think, you know, they're all around. They, they, I think they believe in the right things. And, uh, you know, I think all, they all kind of want to accomplish the same things. There's no uh, – you know, there's no guys that have their own agenda so far. You know, that, you know, we, tell our, you know we tell our guys every day, you know, uh, you know, we haven't turned the lights on yet as far as games and – uh, you know, we haven't had those, uh, you know, where we've faced adversity yet, but so far it's been a great group. Sometimes when you're on a team, you're not likely to get uh, those great teammates, but as a coach, you, you know, have the power to find those guys. How much do you focus on character, um, maybe a little bit over town when you're out with the well, you, you focus on character a lot. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't always work out. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we don't get to spend a lot of time with these young men. Uh, in the recruiting process, you know, um, you know, we're only allowed a very, very limited amount of contact. Uh, now we can go watch them play, uh, you know, during the winter time up to seven times a year, but we're only actually allowed to have contact with these guys, I think, three times. Uh, so it's very tough a lot of times to really, uh, really understand the character of a young man. You try to do your background work, you try to do as best you can, and I, you know, I add into this with some of the things that we experienced. Uh, as a coach staff last year, made us, you know, really evaluate even more on things that we want to you know, build our team around. Um, um, and not to get into those things, but things uh, you guys know, things you don't, you know, even know that, you know, we were dealing with on a daily basis to tr try to, you know, uh, create a great environment for, for, our, for our players. Um, so, you know, it, it's, uh, it, you know, you don't always get it right. You don't always, you think you might know somebody, it, you know, a young man, and again, uh, we are dealing with 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 year old young men now. Let's uh, let's keep that, you know, <laughs> understood. Um, but you do the best you can. Uh, but it is an important ingredient, no question. It's an important ingredient to any success, whether it's basketball, football, everyday life. That that you have a group of young men or a group of people that you can count on, that are accountable and responsible. Uh, I think, uh, you know, as I've told our team. We have good attitudes. They work very, very hard. They are a very close-knit group. Probably the closest team I've coached other than my last year at Eastern Kentucky that went to the NCAA tournament is probably neck and neck. All those things, I think, are the base for success. Now, that alone is not going to win us games. We've got to add a little bit more to it. But that is a great base to work with uh, and a great, great part of the ingredient to having success. But I told them, that, you know, I, I keep pumping them up to them how much fun I'm having with them and what a great group of guys here. I said, but that's not, 
you know, that's not going to scare Pittsburgh. <laughs> you know, that's not going to scare Kansas and Oklahoma and the people like that. we got to add a little bit more to it, and I think we will. Well, our inside game, uh, it won't be a scoring strength. Um, uh, you know, with that said, when you talk about inside game, uh, you're, you're talking about uh, Philip Jurek, and I'm talking about the, the five men right now because we've got an interesting steam to make up of when I start talking about different lineups. I'm going to talk about five men right now as far as Philip Jurek, uh, uh, Michael Cobbins, um, you know, we've even thrown Mar Merrick Sochek in there at times, but I, uh, he would play, if he's in the game, most likely play a four on offense and maybe a five on defense because he's, um, he's having trouble guarding a four at this time. But with that said, uh, our four men are right now are LeBron Nash, J.P. Olakimi, and Brian Williams, not your prototypical fours and fives in this league. Uh, and then our fives, whoever else – might possibly be playing that spot, uh, you know, when games begin. Uh, right now, it's not our scoring strength. Uh, it is a uh, an area that we, especially with Philip and 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 Michael, have been able to block shots and be a physical presence at the rim. You know, Michael Cobbins is not strength physical, but he's long and blocking shots presence. Philip is just a presence at the rim. Uh, he is uh, he has been that. That's something that. Uh, we thought he could do, and it's something he has been doing in practice. Um, they are uh, asked to do a lot of screening right now because they're not overly great offensive players. They're asking to do a lot of screening within our offense uh, for some of the other offensive threats. Um, we, we, in our back of our mind, from, our, from a staff standpoint, have started talking about what do we want point-wise out of our bit. What, what would be good, you know, whether it be somebody averaging six points a game or seven. Uh, if we could get that out of, you know, a Philip or Merrick or whoever else ends up playing in, in there. Um, right now, it, it's, it, it's not a strength, but uh, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't call that position a weakness uh, at all at this point uh, for the fact that I think they're doing their role. Uh, they're, they're, they're having a specific role that they're having to play. Uh, it is totally 100% different than our team from last year. Uh, from that standpoint. Um, but I tell you, I don't know if I have coached a more coachable young man than Philip Jurek. I don't know if that's possible. I mean, he is just one of the nicest young men that I've been around and coachable as far as whatever we ask him to do, it's yes, sir. Whether we tell him to go out and screen 20 times in a row or Whatever we ask, because we're asking him to do some things that he's never been asked to do as far as on the court. He's been used to, and I saw it in junior college, Phil's been used to just running to the rim and standing there. Nobody used him on offense at all. As far as they, they threw it to him, he'd make a move, but they didn't ask him to screen. They didn't ask him to do any step out and reverse the ball, which we're asking him to do. None of that. Uh, so he's adjusting to that. He's not great at it right now. Uh, he's not great at playing as hard as he has to play and do as much as we ask him to do right now. He's not used to that, but he's – but, you know, prime example, after practice yesterday, he said, Coach, I'm going to get better at hedging ball screens. I'm going to get better at it. And that's just walking off the court. You know, I haven't had a player tell me he's going to get better at something without me asking him first. Um, you know, he's just a, a delightful young man, very coachable, as a lot of these guys are. But, um, you know, uh, but that's the five spot in the long, uh, in, in the long version. It's a work in progress, no question. But our lineups, I'll tell you guys, you're going to see so many different lineups in this team. We, you know, we have had, we had our first scrimmage last Sunday night with referees. Um, and I played with so many different lineups. I had, uh, you know, LeBron at the five at times. I, you know, we had him at the point at times sometimes. We had different guys at the four. Uh, we played Keaton at Page at the one with Philip, uh, or Keaton Page at the one with LeBron and, and uh, uh, JP at the two and the three. Um, and Brian wins at the four. I mean, we've, we're trying a lot of different things because I think that's where we are. Now, we've got to be careful not to confuse them. Um, and, and, but uh, it's, it's an interesting team in that standpoint. What's your biggest concern? 
My first, I've got two concerns uh, right now. Uh, you know, the one uh, is we are uh, we are a relatively young basketball team. Six guys has never played Division One basketball, uh, and five of those will make it. Will play impact, what I would call impact minutes. Merrick, I don't know yet how many. You know, um, but the other five uh, will play impact minutes. Um, so that's always a concern when you're that young. Uh, the other concern, our schedule, you know, our, our schedule is a little tough for this, you know, uh, uh, for this basketball team. It, it is a, uh, an extremely tough schedule, uh, uh, non-conference-wise. And obviously you had to, you know, obviously everybody knows we're playing everybody twice in our league now. So that makes it even much more difficult. Um, but um, those are two big concerns. Uh, you know, what I would call on the outside the lines, inside the lines, boy, we're turning the ball over way too much right now. Uh, very, I wouldn't call careless as much as as close as they are on the off the court, and it's been amazing. James Anderson, uh, who, who's been with us for a couple of weeks practicing, has gone back to Arkansas just for a couple of days. He's going to come back. He said, "He said, Coach, I've you don't. I'm sure you know this, but in the locker room, this is the closest team I've ever seen. You know, this is fun to be around. This they're really close." As close as they are, it's not been reflective on the court yet. It's not talking about selfishness, them not getting along. It's just they don't understand each other very well right now, um, which I'm a little surprised. But, uh, you know, but it, uh, I guess it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to. Now, with that said, with the pace we're playing at, it makes it a little more difficult. Uh, but... Um, uh, that's a concern, the turnovers. And I think once they learn to play with each other, uh, I think they'll get better at it because I don't think it's necessarily just careless turnovers. Um, it, it's a lot of bad decision turnovers uh, and just not understanding each other, not understanding the offense. I, I'm hoping this is the case. Uh, it's been a concern. Um, you know, th that's the thing that has stood out uh, to us by far that we've got to really get better at, really get better at. And then everybody understanding their roles. Uh, is a concern, and not because they don't want to, is because, I'm, I, you know, we we need about three, we got at least three guys that are going to play at least two positions. And I'm talking about for for significant, you know, LeBron Nash will play the three a lot in a game. He will play the four a lot in the game. J.P. Olakimi will play the four a lot in the game. We'll play a three a lot in the game. Um you know, uh, those two particular are, are having to learn two positions. Um, you know, C.J. Guerrero, who got back yesterday on the court full go, and, boy, he made an impact immediately. Um, his pa He's the quickest, the fastest guy on our team with the ball in his hands. Not even close. Um, um, you know, he was really impressive yesterday in practice for his first day back. The other players blamed it on he had fresh legs, and everybody else was tired. So, uh, but uh, – He's got to play the one and the two. He, I mean, literally, he it, it can't he can't just learn one position. He's got to learn both. And I and I could add a few other guys. That's a concern that, you know, that how long is that going to take? What kind of, you know? I think by by January, I'm, I'm I'm sure we're going to have that down. Which my teams have you know in the past have always gotten better late. Um, but our schedule, I, I I have, you know, we have not played a schedule quite like this. Our first year, we had a top ten schedule. At the end of the year, it was top ten in the RPI, I think. Um, but can we survive? Can we survive that while we're really, really learning? You hear it from every coach this time of year. We're going to get better as the season goes along. And I mean, we're the picture. We're picture perfect for that uh, of going to get better as the season goes along. I hope. Uh, but. Uh, uh, we are we are so far from right now being what I think we could be, which which is natural. But there's a lot of room for the the the. There's a lot of room right now. There's a lot of space between where we're at now and where we think we can get. The way he practiced in his first day back is that a hint to uh, Caesar's or CJ's toughness? Uh, yeah, he he's. I've always commented from the first individual we had. He's a tough sucker. He is tough. Uh, really tough. Um, CJ is really, I mean, he was competing. I think it's, uh, toughness is a good word. It, it, it may not be that he's just competitive. I mean, uh, it's competitive. I mean, he was going at Keaton Page on the first day. Like, you know, he didn't care. Keaton was a four year starter and senior. You know, it was great competition. Uh, and different guys. He's always been tough. Um, CJ picks up this, picks up things 
uh, that we're teaching and plays and concepts as well as any freshman I've had in a while. Uh, now, with that said, he's got a lot of drama to him, um, you know, a lot of flair to him uh, that, you know, we've got a channel in the right way. I love, you know, some of the things he can do. I'd much rather bring a player back, but he's got, uh, he's got some of that to him uh, that we've got to uh, channel in the, and focus in the right direction. But, uh, but no, it, it, I'll be honest with you, from what I found out from him from the first three or four months, uh, I wasn't surprised. I, I was a little concerned, you know, when you take a shot like that, are you going to be hesitant? Yeah. No, that was a 100% that we had to slow him down. I mean, to a point he was, I think he led the team in turnovers yesterday, but he also probably led it in assists as well. But um, he was he was competing yesterday to the point he was throwing it. He was literally at the trash can throwing up because he hadn't done anything in a week and a half. I mean, and that's how fast we were playing yesterday, and we were doing a lot of up and down drills. But he was out of shape, um, but he was competing. But that was good. That was something we were concerned about. That was a good. That's a good question. That's something we were we were a little worried about. But he has shown us some toughness. Coach, last week you said you weren't sure anybody starting five. You weren't sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. A week removed, your feelings change at all? Oh, you know, I, I hate to talk about that a little bit because uh, you know, I, you know, your Keaton Page is in there, but the other guy would definitely definitely throw in there. I would. I don't want to, uh, you know. Uh, inflate uh, his ego anymore but jp's played f f phenomenal i you know goodness i you know oh but you know the moment i say that and he sees it and reads it uh um because we all know he was great at home last year i mean great i mean he averaged uh, 18 whatever it was at home ridiculous amount of points for a sophomore whatever he is and uh and then he goes on the road and um you know, I don't think he packed his bags half the time to go on the road. You know, so you know we're still we're still challenging him every day that you're not, you know, you're not doing enough. You got to play hard, but uh, uh, he's been he's been very good. He has, uh, you know. But I tell you, JP's one guy who I tell you, I, I, you know, I don't know how it's going to equate on the court. And he's still, I don't know. You, you know, we hope he's not as up and down as he was last year. But I tell you, he's on a schedule. That sucker stays in the gym. I come in here at night, eight nine o'clock. You, you, I can tell you where to find him on his own. He's, you know, we we have a thing now where you you got to get a lift in three days with a, you know, on certain days between seven a.m. Uh, and I think two p.m. There's not a set time. You got to get in there. This morning, five guys, six guys were in there, waiting at the door. This is Jake waiting at the door before seven o'clock. Not because they had eight or nine o'clock class, because. They're, they're, you know, they're a committed group of guys. And it starts with – that area starts with JP because he's been doing that. And I think the, he's grabbed one or two guys and then another guy kind of joins him. You know, we hope it continues. We hope he can handle, you know, some of, the, uh, some of that uh, because he didn't handle it very well last year. You know, JP didn't handle his success very well last year at all. Um, but uh, I, I see a, a bit of maturity, a year under his belt at this level. Um, we hope it equates to him having a, a great year because he has the ability to do that. Well, our expectations start with his leadership uh, being, uh, you know, a, a guy that's been through uh, through here. He's an old senior, a veteran senior who's learned from some good leaders, who's uh, who's seen uh, the uh, the ups and downs of uh, of college basketball he's seen the the good the bad he's experienced so many different things that he can use to be a great leader uh, and I've seen that I, I've been impressed uh, how he's improved his vocal leadership um, our players know he's uh, he is our captain as we have told our but we have one captain on our basketball team and that is Keaton Page now, we are looking for other leaders. I'm not looking for other captains. I got my captain. Now, I'm looking for other leaders. You can have captains and you can have leaders. I'm looking for other leaders to help him. And we've got some great candidates that are, that are, that are, that are wanting that type of uh, responsibility. But uh, there's no mistake on our team uh, from anybody uh, who's the captain of this team. And, uh, uh, and he's doing a good job of that. On the court, I, I, I'm hoping he, uh, we can relieve some of the pressure that we put on him last year. Uh, we put too much pressure on him as uh, um, far as what we asked him to do. That's just not, you know, he's not a player that needs to be trying to score 
25 points every game. And that's what we were trying to get him to do last year by playing, running so many different plays for him and asking him to do this and do that and having him play 30-something minutes a game. And um, it was just too much for, for him. That's not his, his game. Now, hopefully we've put some more versatile players around him that will uh, hopefully uh, open things up for him a little bit. Uh, but he's in terrific form right now. You know, he's um, he's Keaton Page. You know, he's 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 got a little, I think, a little pep to his step right now uh, because I think he'd be the first if you haven't talked to him yet. He loves this team. I mean, um, he and I talk all the time. We have individual meetings. He and I do all the time. And he just, you know, coach, this is so much fun. You know, I like this team. Um, you know, I, you know, it's just. Uh, and I love to see that because, I, you know, uh, I, I, he deserves it. Uh, and uh, I hope he has a great senior year. Are we good? Thank you. So, thank you.